In this video, we will discuss primary and secondary memory. Primary memory stores instructions that computer is currently working with. That's why processor has direct access to the primary memory. There are two types of primary memory. One type of primary memory is called RAM. RAM stands for random access memory, which means each byte or location can be directly accessed by the processor. RAM allow us to change data or instruction while computer is on. Since RAM is volatile memory, if computer is turned off, data and instructions will be erased from the memory. And there is another type of memory in which programs or instructions are already installed by the manufacturer. This type of memory is non-volatile, which means data and instruction will retain even if the computer is turned off. This type of memory is called ROM. ROM stands for read-only memory. Since it is read-only, instructions cannot be changed in this memory. It can only be read. Often ROM chips contain startup instructions for computers. Secondary and auxiliary storage is readily available these days. Since primary storage is small and expensive, storing large files and programs permanently in secondary storage is suitable choice. Secondary storage devices may be built in like hard drive or can be connected to the motherboard via ports. Storage devices or mass storage devices are of different types. We will discuss magnetic, optical and flash storage devices. Magnetic storage devices were one of the earliest storage devices. First being the magnetic tape. Magnetic tape has the same working mechanism as tape recorder. Data of magnetic tape is read and written sequentially. In earlier computers, magnetic disk replaced completely magnetic tape. Magnetic disk has been evolving with evolution of computer. A magnetic disk is made out of magnetic material having tracks, sectors and blocks for organizing and storing data or information. Data or information on magnetic disk is accessed by read or write, he write magnetic head which hovers over the disk. Floppy disk and hard drive disk are two popular magnetic disk based storage devices. Floppy is mag plastic encased magnetic disk whereas hard drive contain many disk or platters that rotate on a spindle each with its own read or write head. Optical storage uses light to read or write data on plastic disks. CD or DVD drives use laser to read or write information on an optical or plastic disc. A CD has only one track that spirals from the inside out. Based on formatting and whether information on disc can be changed or not, following types of CD exist. CDDA which stands for compact which stands for compact disc digital audio. Data is stored in the sectors reserved for timing information in CDDA. And then we have CD-ROM, which stands for read-only memory. Means data, data in this type of disk is permanent and cannot be changed. Then we have CD-R, which stands for recordable, which means data can only be once recorded on this disk and cannot be changed. Then we have CD-RW, which stands for rewritable. Rewritable means data can be erased and recorded multiple number of times on this kind of disk. Other types of popular and modern pop modern optical storage devices include DVD and its types and Blu-ray disk which can store data up to the 50 GB. Flash storage is called flash because data can be read and written in an instant. Flash storage uses the same technology as RAM chips to make non-volatile storage devices. Transistors are used to make this kind of storage. Flash drives like USBs, memory cards and SSDs are popular flash storage devices. Solid state drives or SSDs are replacing hard drive disks in modern computers. Most popular flash storage device is perhaps the USB thumb device. It was introduced by IBM in 1998 and can be plugged in USB port on a computer. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to support this channel.